Okay, so broadly speaking, how do you think being a publicly funded organization impacted the funnel? Well, uh, most of what kept the funnel going, in my view, is artist-run labor. It was basically a labor of love. It was, I remember so many countless hours spent renovating the funnel and bringing it up to building code and um, so many uh, hours of doing projects and attending. I mean, fundamentally it was a community. But uh, government funding is essential to keep these centers running. I mean, uh, the it's not a kind of commercial film practice where uh, not to say that commercial film doesn't get massive government funding, but you know, in, in Canada, but commercial film uh, practice where you know admissions would cover the cost of the theater, for example, and as I said, we did such a wide array of activities and provided so many services for filmmakers, but also for students and educators and you know people doing archival res research and uh, so I guess in in a nutshell. Um, I think government funding is essential for artist-run initiatives. Uh, we don't have the same kind of philanthropic funding that you will find in places like uh, New York cities so that would, you know, help keep Millennium Film Archives or whatever sort of functioning. Uh, 